All right, Polly, what have you got? Yeah, uh, we were talking about this the other day. We were talking about the advice that we'd give to our younger selves. I thought I'd run through uh, some of my, the, yeah. my first one mm -hmm. is that uh, when you're younger, you got to take more risks because oh, yeah. you become more and more risk averse the older you get. Yeah. And uh, so when you've got it in you, you've got to go for it. Uh, I don't know, like 25 years ago, I heard this story on some radio station about how they had done this research and they had gone to people who were told they had like a terminal illness, they had six months to live, and they asked them, what are the things you're gonna do on your bucket list before you die? And the people said what their things were, but because they were so overwhelmed by the fact that they were going to die, they didn't do uh, anything yeah. on the list, yeah, yeah. right? So you gotta do it when you're younger, you gotta do it now yeah. when you're more willing to do mm -hmm. so Number one, you take more risks. Okay. Right? Here's mm -hmm. number two the, that I would give for myself, be willing to stand alone. Right, like you're so yes. afraid of not fitting in that you kind of wind up compromising yourself because you're afraid of standing alone. And I, in, in the long haul of things, I think it's a mistake. Go ahead, put your stake in the ground yep. Yep. and just say, I'm not moving off of that one at all. Mm -hmm. You guys agree? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yes. Anything similar to what would run on your radar? Yeah, I, well, I, as an introvert, I didn't mind being by myself, so it wasn't as big of a problem for me. Right, oh, that's a good point, that's yeah. good. Uh, and the other one uh, is to stop trying to please everybody else. Yes. Right, like we spend so much trying to keep everybody happy, trying to please people, at least some of us. Larry, you're probably yeah, not wired that anybody way else. either, but that's <laughs> why it's my that. list yeah. <laughs> for myself. Uh, and then another one is the adventure away from home yeah. more, right? Yeah. Because right. the older you get, the less yep. possible it yes. becomes. You're it's obligated tough. with kids and houses yeah. and money. Right. So adventure, try different things. Right. Yeah. Agree? Very, yeah, I, should, I agree. I Anything should. on your list that you're like, I wish I had done this when I was younger. I would say, I would tell my younger self, you look the best you will ever yeah. look in your life right now. Yeah. Stop wearing oversized sweaters. Right. Wear a right. bikini. You that, well, why can't you follow looked, that now? You yeah. gotta look this that good. That was when I was 20. Right. Yeah. I mean, why wasn't I doing that when I was 20, 25? Right. Now, the ship has sailed. Well, I mean, you think yeah. it has, but wait till you're 80. Yeah. And you're like, ah, oh, well, I was <laughs> right. in my 60s yes. talking about this yes. on yeah. the morning news. I, I should know. have yeah. the bikini. I know. Um, you know, it's funny, when, now that we're older, you realize like 30 years goes by like that, but when you're a kid, you don't realize that. So I thought all adults were morons because you don't understand. Like right. you, were in, you were in high school 15 years ago. You don't understand. <laughs> yeah. And I wish I had gotten more advice from adults on problems that I was having as yeah. a teenager. Yeah. yeah. Pat, you're the closest to being the young, you know, like, we're, looking like back. Regrets? Of, yeah. Uh, or things that probably advice junior you. year that night Kim Batillo was in my room at midnight yeah. Yeah. and I just thought she couldn't sleep. Yeah. You know, and I just sat there and didn't do anything. Yeah. That was a regret I had. You know. Take some risks. I wish I would have been yeah, wish I would <laughs> Right. Right? It's like oh, I can't sleep. My like, ah, it's too bad. Yeah. yeah. When I, I was telling idiot. My, I was telling my brother, was I yeah, I was telling my brother back when we were talking about this, live as if you've got 60 days or 90 days to live. Yeah. We tried it for this stretch of time in our lives. Yeah. And you become a lot more, like if you run every decision through, all right, if I have 60 days to live, would I do this or not do this? You can't make this, you can't do this with financial decisions right, right. and professional decisions, mm -hmm. but things like, all right, there's this girl that I think is great. Uh, and, but I don't, I'm not confident enough to yeah. ask her out. To have somebody yeah. say, hey, if you had 60 days to live, would you do it? Yeah. All of a sudden, you're a little more ballsy yeah. and giving it a yeah. shot. So anyhow, that's some good advice here. Right, live right. as if you got 90 days to live. There's a great Tim McGraw song about that, is it? Live like you're live dying. Live like you were dying. Yeah. Ah, it's a good, yeah. good song. Yeah. Yeah. I, and then, to be fair, I think there's about 80 country <laughs> songs right now. <laughs> yeah, probably so. His was a good one. Yeah. And then uh, here's my last one, which even as I say it, I think this is the worst advice I ever would have given myself. Have more kids. Kids and have them earlier yes. in your life. Uh, yes, yeah. right? I would. I well, kept thinking I'm too busy, and you wait till. I what, what the heck was yeah. I so busy doing? Because yeah. it's just it's it, you know it's easier to be. Because yeah. all of our parents look so happy having <laughs> kids young. <laughs> yeah, they all yeah, look. They all were happy, well-adjusted yeah, people. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. There's a happy medium for yeah. people, I guess. So there you are. That's a nice that's list. That's a good list, yeah. right? Good, good stuff. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. We're saving lives all over yeah. the place, Polly.